Nobody can move out. This kind of is like a specific group of people, but we're going to discuss it. And I'm going to present it on my lovely whiteboard today. In my area, which is North Carolina, the minimum wage for hourly paid employees is $7.25. The cheapest apartments in the area, apartments, not even houses, apartments, and this is excluding student housing, they range anywhere from $500 to $600 a month. These three things are something we need to focus on in today's video. Now, let's think about people's bills in today's society. You've got your phone bill. You've got your car payment, or if you just pay for a car, and your car insurance. If you're gonna try to be renting a place, you've got electric, water, in some cases, some apartments will include the water, most likely internet, and food because we're human beings and we need that. So say these are your basic necessities. We need to remember all of these when calculating why things aren't working. So we're going to work. Say we are working minimum wage and we are full time. We don't go to school, so we don't get any financial aid money. Let's just assume we doing it by ourselves because we're all big girls and big boys. When I was a full-time employee, I worked anywhere from 35 hours to 40 hours a week. But we're gonna go with 40 hours. Let's say we work in the max. 725 times 40 hours a week is a whopping 290 for said week. But we didn't even make that much because we have to take account for taxes. I don't even remember how much got taken out of my taxes and I swear to God, I don't know how they work, but I'm gonna say about $40 of each of my paychecks every week was taken out in taxes. That's how I used to calculate how much I was gonna make for the week. So that's how we're gonna calculate it here. I could be wrong. I think also I had a 401k, but say you have a 401k or health insurance, which we should add to these. We don't just got car insurance, we got health insurance. Let me, let me go ahead and write these. We've got some other things that are basic human necessities. If you wanna have a doctor's visit or if you don't want your teeth to rot, or if you want money when you retire after working 40 hours a week for the rest of your life. Back to taxes. So once we subtract our $40 from our 290, we're actually left with 250. There's four weeks in a month. We got about a grand a month, which to some of you without a job may seem like, wow, that's some pretty decent cash. And for anyone who lives with their parents and doesn't pay half of these bills, looks pretty damn good. But let's say you are on your own you're about to have to pay all of these bills by yourself and you're trying to get an apartment. Now, especially in North Carolina, there are some decent apartments for a grand a month, even 900 a month, even $800 a month. But we're gonna be focusing on the cheapest apartments. These are the apartments that have cockroaches. These are the apartments that just aren't nice. The people probably aren't taking care of you. They don't care. They haven't updated the kitchen in about 30 years. These people just don't care because they're the cheapest. They know you can't go nowhere else. You're stuck here. Anyways, most apartments are going to require, well, A, that your credit is looking good. And if not, you need a co-signer, which already, if you know, you're in a position where your parents really ain't trying to help you or be financially responsible for you, if things don't work out, you're screwed. Yeah, you're screwed. Like, good luck. You know, most phone bills or internet bills, don't really count towards your credit. Although I know, what is it, Experian Boost? It's some of those apps, you can hook it up with your Hulu account and make money or make a, your credit score go up by paying those bills. But for most, you don't have a credit score yet. 
if you're not in school, you're not paying off a loan or anything to build your credit. And a lot of people don't have the credit yet to get a car where they have to make payments to earn that credit. Normally you got a car off the side of the street and you know, just paid it right out. So you need to make 2.5 to three times the rent. Given the cheapest apartments, that's gonna range anywhere from about 1250 or 1800 a month. Now let's just refer back to how much you make a month, excluding all your other bills. Oh fuck, excuse that, I got too excited. There's just no way you're gonna even be able to afford the cheapest apartments, at least in my area. Again, I don't know about other states. I'm not researching every state. I don't care about other states. And honestly, let's go back up to minimum wage because I know that even though it's 725, a lot of jobs now are getting up to like, I think McDonald's is like $10 an hour or like $12 an hour. So let's, let's just see how much you would make a month working for $10 an hour. If you're working your 40 hours a week for $10 an hour, you make about $400 a week minus your $50 in taxes, because taxes raise as you make more money. Um, that's about 350. 350 times four weeks in a month is still only gonna bring you to about 1400, which yes, in that case, you may be able to make three times the rent, 1250 if you so happen to find it exactly $500 a month apartment. And that only leaves you with, leaves you with $150 for the rest of the month. And you still have to pay, now that you're in an apartment, especially your electric, your water, your internet, your food, your car, your gas, so you can get to the same job that's giving you this $10 an hour, your phone bill, everything. There's just no way you're going to pay all of these things with 150 every month. And food, you need food. Like, I don't know, even one person, like you need at least, at least $100 a month for groceries, at least. I mean, unless you just eat like beans and rice, I don't know. So that's, this is just my take on why things aren't working. And then in that case, you know, a lot of people ask why people are moving in with other people at this point in time. It's because no one can afford it on their own. Some places, if you don't have the credit, will allow you to just put down a higher deposit um, for your apartment. Or at least that's kind of what they did for us when we had our apartment. So find someone you like living with who you can rely on. That's just my take. And why the minimum wage should be bumped. I mean, even if we bumped it up to the $12 an hour, I don't even feel like doing the math. I can just go ahead and tell you, that's still not gonna work. You're gonna struggle with all the rest of your bills or you'll just never eat or you'll just have a shitty life and a shitty time because you're living paycheck to paycheck with nothing. But yeah, maybe you guys can just sleep on it tonight and tell me what you think. All right. <laughs>